one guardian has been kicking your race's collective asses for nine years. So, how do we stop this? All right, guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 build video. And today, we're talking about another Titan Void build, my Infinuke build, which essentially revolves around this lovely exotic, Severance Enclosure. Now, with the nerf of Heart of Imus Light, a lot of your cooldowns are kind of taking a beating, but this changes everything, and it makes you even more powerful. Let me explain. For those of you guys that just want to copy the build without having to listen to what I have to say, here we go. I'm going to scroll down so you can see. I would highly recommend that you do aim, however, for 100 resistance, uh, resilience, and 100 discipline. I don't have it perfected yet. I'm still working on it, but it works just fine, as you would have seen in the intro clip. So, there's a couple of components here. That's very important. The reason I run Bastion and not Offensive Bulwark is because I like using my shield in very emergency situations to give me that kind of an shield. Now, if you guys looked at my first initial Titan Man build, which is also on the channel, you would know that I'm very, I was typically very into having a lot of sustain, etc. But the problem I had with that build was the fact that you have to play incredibly slow and I'm pretty much an aggressive player and I enjoy that so I wanted to build something that's very powerful a lot of explosions a lot of sustain but you keep moving and that's what this is all about using Bastion because if I find myself in a difficult situation which I typically do I pop the shield and I'm good to go that's kind of the reason why I'm running this given that now in the cypher in the cypher the um scepter the the artifact not the cypher that we have volatile flow we no longer need four slots which makes this great so i would typically have like volatile rounds over here if i use something else but now we don't need to I'm running a rally barricade because it's got a slower cooldown so i can spam it all the time and it also feeds into refreshing my grenade energy as you will see later Run here what you want. I run shield throw, lower cooldown, as you can see, and it's always clutch and it explodes, man. That's where the exotic comes in. We'll explain that a bit later. I'm running vortex because we're also running weakening, which is echo van mining, which is just creating weakness for everything that you hit. It creates so many orbs, which also feeds into the build, which is great. Other aspects we're running is granting devour and this new. Um, fragment, not aspects, fragment that we're running um, is Echo of Cessation, which is the new Lightfall, you know, um, fragment that we, we get, where Finish of Final Blows creates a burst of void damage that causes nearby combatants to become volatile. Now, when you do a finisher, not only do you make everyone around you volatile, you also create a further explosion, which is proc by Severance Enclosure. Powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion, hence the reason why I'm throwing out the shield all the time, not just for overshield, but to create that kind of damage explosion and volatility. And then finish on final blows against more powerful targets, increase the radius and damage of the explosion. So, 
as you've seen in the intro clip, it is very powerful with ad clears, especially with AOE. That's why we are running it. Given the fact that my strength is so low, I'm running Monte Carlo because it refreshes your melee ability. That really helps out a lot. Trust me, If you even if you have 100 strength, just run this, it really does work. To proc like volatility and you know to benefit from volatile rounds, I'm running Deafening Whisper. I'm running Retrofit Escapade. Deafening Whisper with lead from gold, we're getting as much ammo as we need. I never run out of ammo. And I've got auto loading because I like to shoot one out, shoot a couple of targets with my kinetic weapon at the top, then just switch back, shoot it out again, wave frame does a ton of damage and then if you become low on orbs and you're in trouble you can have about 457 bullets within your arsenal to you know shoot the retrofit i've got four times the charm and target lock on it it does so much damage to bosses and it just melts everything else so it creates orbs it uses the volatility or the volatile rounds that you get from from picking up orbs or yeah from picking up orbs and it's just incredibly powerful in terms of everything else, let's look at the artifact first. You can run whatever you want, but of course, if you if you are running the um, Monte Carlo overload, obviously you can slot in whatever you want here. Um, you do break barriers if you have volatile rounds. So as soon as I have volatile rounds and I encounter a barrier enemy, I just shoot him with my machine gun, no problems. I just unlock that for the sake of it. Very important is this mod. The, um, the 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 void authorized mod as well as grenade but volatile rounds as is crucial then we also have shadow orbs bricks from beyond then over here you've got you gain temporary bonus void weapon damage after you defeat a target with a void weapon while at least one of your void abilities is fully charged now that happens constantly because you're circulating between the the rotation of your abilities is what's kind of like keeping you going, keeping you alive, and um, keeping that sustained. So it's very likely that you will benefit from this from a probability perspective. Helmet, I'm running Ashes to Assets, Super Energy, you just gain it so much, you create so much orbs with it as well. You would see on the arm piece that, um, you know, if you throw a grenade into a mob, you're creating multiple um, orbs and you're getting benefit from you know, the Ashes to Assets mod for your super. I've got uh, Void Siphon and I've got Kinetic Siphon because both of my weapons, I do want to generate orbs from it. On the arm piece, we're running um, Grenade Final Blows creates orbs of power, firepower mod, very powerful. Then of course we're running two, um, two of the momentum transfers because you do want, when, when you throw a grenade, you're going to pretty much refresh it after you do a finisher we'll get to that now but at the same time you also want your um shield ready so if you're in a difficult situation not only can you do a lot of damage and explosive damage because of the exotic you also get some of your um your melee energy back um from this which allows you to do that on the chest piece um very important Increase the maximum number of stacks of armor charge you can carry about one charge charged up. You always want to have about three or four charges ready for when you're going for a finisher. I do avoid reserves, that gives me 450 something rounds in the machine gun, and you're gonna be up close and personal, so I am running melee damage resistance. On the legs, we're running reduced grenade cooldown, so we're doing innovation, and um, I some I switch between another innovation as well as um invigoration so obviously one refreshes your grenade one refreshes your melee attack it doesn't really matter um you get them both back incredibly quickly and i haven't played enough with the differences in this to be able to tell you which one is best try both out I, I started off with two grenades because it creates more orbs for me which you know it just helps with everything really um but i have found myself in a situation where i didn't have a shield a barrier and I didn't have a shield so I do want to get I do want to make sure that I always have my melee ready if I want to like cripple some dudes that are attacking me in mobs and I need that bit of a shield but yes stacks on stacks very important and then on the class item we um, are running no, sorry legs oh charge up sorry I forgot about did I mention charge up I think I managed charge up yes 
maximum number by one, of course, and then on the legs, we've got stacks on stacks. So if you pick up two orbs, you get four armor charges. And you need four armor charges because you need three to refresh your grenade when you do a finisher. So the rotation is effectively, you're going to shoot, make things volatile, go crazy, throw in your, your shield. By that time, within a mob or even a strong enemy, they would be ready to be finished. And once you finish them, the fact that you are... You've already created those massive explosions. Everything is volatile, and you've probably already picked up. You've already thrown your grenade at that time. It's all. It's already started to refresh because this doesn't give you like a hundred percent grenade. So you sometimes need to just wait until one tenth of your grenade cooldown is ready, um, and when you do a finisher, then you will get everything, which is great. But sometimes you even do the finisher and you create orbs by doing it, and you get your grenade anyway because of the mods that we have in the top. Um, and then I do sometimes, before I go in for a finisher, I just pop my, my barrier, I get an overshield, I run in. This already refreshes my grenade, probably, probably like 20%, 25% of my cooldown. And when I do the finisher, I get my grenade back, which really works um, really well. I think if I had 100 discipline, um, it probably would be even better. Of course, it not probably, it would be better, but I don't have that, so I need to do this. So feel free to play around with that. So that's the build, guys. It's a um, really fun build. I'm running Sentinel Shield because I just like running around smashing stuff. Like I said, I don't want to play with the Ward of Dawn, which I did with the, the Heart of Immortal Light in the Titan Man build. So this is effectively a Titan Man on steroids build. Um, it's really, really, really fun to play. You do have good sustainability and... Um, I just really enjoy making things explode going in and I can be as aggressive as I want to be. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comment sections how you would improve it. If you have any ideas to improve it, it's, it's good for me. It's also good for the community and everyone that watches the video. Of course, I would always appreciate any feedback. I hope you guys um, find this helpful. If you did, please do subscribe, like the video so that more people can see it. You guys have been incredible in supporting my, my Hellstorm and, uh, well, my Titan... Titan Man, my Hellstorm, and um, the Lever Titan build that I did on Strand. Clearly, I think I like Titan the most, but I wouldn't say I'm main again. I'm going to slot over to Warlock and for um, the Hunter. I've got another Solar Hunter build, which really focuses on your, your, your super. It's just incredible as well. Then I've got the Toxic Void, but it's kind of something that's already been done. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on it with the Necrotic Grips. But I play it slightly differently, so hopefully you'll find that useful. But stick around. If you like the content, we stream five to six nights uh, or sometimes in the day of the weekends. Um, so at 9 p.m. BST. So if you want to tune in, come ask me anything during the stream. Take care of yourselves. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.